Welcome to part two of our 1,000 horsepower Coyote build. Now we're gonna be completing the long block in this portion. One thing Rich Grower really likes to do is cylinder head work. He actually enjoys doing cylinder head work more than he does like building short blocks or long blocks. So this is an area where he can really shine. And he did his stage two CNC package on our Coyote cylinder heads. You can get these cylinder head packages through JPC Racing. And we went with the stage two kit because it's a nice mix of uh, going all out racing versus kind of keeping it nice and calm for street manners. Uh, we did put a Ferrera oversized 1.5 intake valve in it and a 1262 exhaust valve. All in all, these heads flow 37 CFM on the intake and 30 CFM more on the exhaust at 600 lift. Grow also sources his own custom bronze valve guides. And again, we turned to Downs Ford to get brand new valve seals. For valve springs, we want the liver noise valve springs. It's a nice middle of the road valve spring that works good in boosting applications. Sealing up the cylinder heads, we used liver noise's 12 millimeter head studs, along with the stock Boss 302 uh, head gaskets. And the head gaskets are a multi-layer steel gasket from the factory, and these things will be great for any sort of application. For the camshafts, we contacted comp cams. The stage two intake cam is 228 at 50, while the exhaust cam is 223 at 50. This gives a really nice blend for a turbocharged application such as ours. We wanted to keep the variable valve timing because we're willing to give up the couple extra 100 RPM on the top end from not running a crazy spring and locking it out. Covering up the main studs, we went with a Canton fully baffled road racing pan that provides about another two quarts of capacity. And we do drag race and road race this car, so the road race pan was a really good alternative as far as an overall great street strip type of setup. Mazir is helping us cool our Coyote with the new 55 gallon per minute standard bolt-on style electric water pump. Capping off the front of the crank, we went with an ATI balancer. It is all SFI certified, utilizes the factory belt design, and it's a bolt-on piece that it will get us through tech as far as being able to run as fast as we want to run with it. On the top of the motor, Downs again supplied a Boss 302 intake manifold, which gets its air through a BBK new 90 millimeter big bore throttle body. This thing's fresh to the market, really big piece over the factory unit. Fueling it is a set of Injector Dynamics 1000cc injectors, the ID1000s, and Aeromotive fuel rails. The ID1000s, as far as anybody out there that has a late model Ford knows that these injectors are awesome. Everything from idle characteristics all the way through. They are really great for tuning if you talk to any tuners, and they have really, really good road manners. That does it for part two of three of our engine build segment on building our 1,000 horsepower Coyote. The next video we're gonna do is gonna be installing the motor in the car and getting it on our Dynojet chassis dyno.